How you doing guys? Big Mac Dance here again today, back once again with another Wizarding Wednesday for you. Today, I've got an update on Harry Potter miniatures and how I'm getting on with the second core game and some other bits. So, the first core game you see me build and paint was for a friend, so that means I've got to still build and paint my own core game, so that's Harry, Ron, Hermione. Four Death Eaters, six bases of spiders, two house elves, Dumbledore, and Filch. So, I've still got a lot of miniatures to paint for myself because I've got, I went all in on the miniatures game. <laughs> on the, I went all in on the, not Kickstarter, on the pre-order, I went all in. So, there's a lot of miniatures left for me to paint. And for any of you out there that watch some of my other videos, uh, my Warhammer 40k videos on Sunday for example, um, you'll know that this month I'm supposed to be doing a Gorkonaut for Warhammer 40,000 and some Conquest miniatures, um, which is my Thursday content, the, the Conquest miniature magazine that I cover. Um, and that's what I'm supposed to be concentrating on this month because that's what I said on the Sunday video just gone, um, that I'd be concentrating on. However, I completely forgot I've still got to paint up some Harry Potter miniatures. So, there's a core game that I want to paint up by mid-February. So, it's not too much of an issue, potentially. However, today I've run into some issues. So, getting on to that. Here's a pitch for you. Um, this is Dobby. Dobby is a nice house elf. However, you may notice he's very shiny. Um, I was hoping today, I got an extra day off today. Uh, that's Tuesday, the day I filmed this. I was hoping that I'd be able to paint up four house elves and then possibly a start on Dumbledore and Filch. Um, but unfortunately, this has sort of thrown me off a bit. Because he's very shiny, I thought, oh, I've not cleaned this miniature properly. Um, with the Harry Potter miniatures, um, they've used silicone moulds by the looks of it, and they've, they've used a lot of mould release on the miniatures, so I'd recommend, if you've not built or painted many miniatures before, get a bowl of soapy water, just your uh, dish liquid, really. Uh, fairy liquid, I'm sure it's called different things in different countries, there's loads of different brands, whatever. Um, and a toothbrush, and chuck your miniatures in there and scrub them with the toothbrush and that will get the mould release off. The mould release is just something they use so that the mould sticks to the miniatures a bit less than it would normally and it makes it easier to pick the miniatures out of the mould. So, I thought there was a lot of mould release on this and I thought, oh, I must have, uh, must have missed that one in the cleaning process because I've cleaned all the miniatures for the core game already. And I got to it and I went back to the sink and I put a bit of a uh, fairy liquid on the toothbrush and scrubbed the miniature again, rinsed it off, scrubbed it again, rinsed it off again. And then I took it in and put it on a, just a bit of a paper towel, just left, to, left it to dry, but it's still very shiny after it's dried. So I think there might be an issue with this miniature. Um, hopefully not. I'm hoping that when I spray it, it'll be fine. However, with it being so shiny, I'm worried that the resin hasn't set right. And when I spray it, the, pa the paint will basically, once it's dried, over time it'll just start flaking off. Now, I won't know that until I paint it, really. So, um, that's paused me on the painting process. I might try and paint it this weekend, hopefully. And then I've got an update for you on Tuesday, uh, whether it has flecked off or not, but I'm not even sure. I've never had resin that's not been set properly and has caused paint to flake, but I've heard heard of other hobbyists out there uh, having had that problem with uh, Forge World miniatures, Games Workshop miniatures, um, just various companies, different miniatures. So, I'm hoping to have some painted L's for you next week. However, in the meantime, um, I've got these here. Yeah. Bases. Um, I was following a, tu following a tutorial from Ian Aitken uh, about how to make your own bases just to improve improve on the bases that uh, Night Models make and give you in the box. And I've used um, a filler, like a cr wall filler, a crack filler. Um, what do you call it? Like a polyfiller type thing. Polyfiller is a brand, but anyway, it's like a, a plaster filler sort of thing um, and I've used it and I've um, carved the flag shapes into it the the you know the big square shapes into it um, and 
then I've gone to put the wash on it like uh, like the gentleman does in his tutorial. And unfortunately, I think my filler is different to his. He's got a filler in a tube, so it's probably more, I don't know, maybe mine's a bit more powdery, so a bit more absorbent. So when I put the washes on, it's given me a really blotchy effect. So some areas of it are perhaps more absorbent than others. So it's given me a really blotchy effect and I'm not happy with it, so I'm gonna to have to paint those. Um, so what I'm, I've got eight bases ready to go and uh, next week I'll have at least four minutes just that I want to paint provided I get them uh, prepared at the weekend. So I'm hoping uh, over the weekend I'll get those models. You, what you have to do when, when you make a base like this, you have to clip the models off of their little tabs that come under them. Um, because these are actually the night models bases which have the slots in them to drop the tab into and then you glue the tab into there. Um, but the difference is I've put a bit of filler on there and then uh, scraped some lines into it to give it a the effect that you're walking on flagstones. Um, now, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so you need to clip the tab off and then drill holes in the feet of the miniatures, being careful not to drill through the feet of the miniatures because some of these Night Models miniatures, especially the elves, their ankles are really thin. Um, so if you go up too high, then you'll poke through the, poke through the upper part of the foot. So you've got to be really careful of that. Um, and I want to take care with these miniatures as well because um, Dobby um, has got a few holes above one of his ears so I need to fill them holes with liquid green stuff and then um, it'll be a case of spraying them or sanding them down a little bit spraying them and then start painting on them and I'll know by next week hopefully if, if that resin is going to be a bit of a problem uh, I think it might be but hopefully not hopefully I'm wrong um, here's a picture of a couple of elves on some bases for you to give you an idea of the, the effect once you've uh, once you've completed the bases, uh, just to like, I think it looks better than having having a line go across the base, which is the slot which the miniatures are attached to, and then that's glued into the base. A simpler way of doing this is you can glue it into the base anyway, and just get a bit of filler or a bit of uh, green stuff. Which you hear me talk about liquid green stuff a fair bit, but green stuff is like a a two part putty that you uh, mix together, you roll it together in your hands. You can put it in the gap where the slotter base, where the slotter in the slotter base goes, the slot in the, the tab in the slot, slotter base goes, and um, you put it over and then you can just draw the brick lines on if you're just happy with the night model bases and then paint over that. Um, but yeah, I want to do it this way because the night model bases, they're like a, they're like a cobblestone, um, where I want like a flagstone rather than a cobblestone. Um, so I decided to follow uh, Ian Aitken's tutorial. Um, his what he did, he basically put the filler on and then put the wash straight over the filler and it looks amazing. Um, it might be that my wash is too watery because I'm just using GW's washes. Uh, he said he made a wash, so he got a black paint and a gray paint and uh, mixed in a lot of water and then put it over, basically. Um, and it looks really good on his. Um, it's a great effect, but on mine, it's not worked out like that. And uh, I think it's because, probably because I've used um, cheap filler uh, from a pound shop. He's just used like supermarket filler, uh, but I imagine that's slightly higher quality than the stuff you get in a pound shop. You get like a, a tub about, you know, about the size of a Ben and Jerry's tub um, in the pound shop, where he's got like a, a tube of squeezy stuff. So his his I imagine is a bit more, a bit more liquid. The man got a bit more medium in it than uh, than powder. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. I don't know about the makeup of fillers. But anyway, there's my uh, update on Harry Potter miniatures, or lack of an update really, other than a few pictures for you. Um, so, hopefully I'll have more for you next week. Stay tuned to find out, and I'll see you on the battlefield.